welcome back to Brosley Peak Heroes in the top right, of course, a blue Terran player. It is e Evgeny. Oh, Genie. We'll just go with Genie or Gene for short. Why not? And in the bottom left, in the red. In the red. Wonder Gaming has gifted five subs to viewers. And don't get used to it. Because he doesn't accept charity, he makes it himself. It is Plagueis. Is he wise? Does he have other organizations he is a member of? Possibly shady ones? I don't know. But so far, he's opening up with an engineering bay. And a command center. Whereas Genie is opening up with three depots and two barracks. So, uh, here we are. Thank you to Absolute Henny for taking a look at this bender here and uh, bringing it to us on the Discord. And we will see um, what he has suffered through to bring us. This is uh, usually you're not supposed to see too many buildings, especially without a Protoss involved. Not too many buildings of the same, same race should be on the screen at the same time. Obviously of different colors here. Uh, but... He hasn't brought any SCVs across, so it's just Mr. Plagueis over here. Um, uh, does he, he may not know where the base is. It is a containment planetary. Okay, no, he's, he, he, he's checking the area. Like, he wants to see what the neighborhood's like. Okay. So, unfortunately, last I checked, not only do Terrans have flying buildings, but have flying units. But that's going to become kind of irrelevant in comparison to these Marines that are waiting patiently for their turn to walk up the ramp. Genie? Is there enough for a planetary in the main? He's investing, he's building a barracks over. The thing is, um, the Marines are going to get in the main. Is he just, he's just gonna leave. He had just barely, nope, okay. Not all of you are gonna make it. Five of you will. Instead of building a planetary in his main, he's decided to take the relatively short journey here on Beckett Industries to the other side of the map. Um, Genie, still, like, so. So. Okay, so. The rest of the SCVs uh, didn't quite make it past the Marines. So now it's seven SCVs, the ones he always oh, built. All right, so. Genie had an SCV stuck on the outside. He comes back in. He's going to long distance mine. Oh, Blagus says, you know what? I thought that was a good idea. Like that whole proxying of barracks. He's got a factory on the way. Unfortunately, he's going to be pretty limited on the factory units he can build with 46 gas. Uh, an interesting choice, let alone any more planetary action. Speaking of factories, it looks like Genie was inspired. He will now expand to the most obvious location, which is, you know, right here. Uh, about halfway across the other part of the map. Because it'd be far too simple to expand your natural. That's your opponent's natural. As you know, is customary. Um, as Plagueis now has more command centers on Genie's side of the map than Genie does in total...
the marine deja vu we've just seen a proxy before on the other side and there were way more marines but it looks like both players suffering from a severe lack of gas plague is, is more out of reflex than anything but the marines come back to defend and are intercepted by the planetary which knocks them into oblivion the marines attacking the scvs which are unfortunately pacifists all the marines will die the planetary murdering them all genie is having a rough day of it he will eventually right click on one marine he says that's enough boys you guys gotta calm down unfortunately they calm right back up um oh here we well okay so base trade does not really describe this situation but uh-huh okay so okay all right uh-huh so here we are three scvs to 14 but there is an orbital which is kind of a huge deal gd has some money in the bank he's got 900 minerals and 900 gas he's building a planetaria of his own and this base is unscouted but it may be scouted by plagueis momentarily in fact, it looks like this orbital is actually scouting... It sees the SCV. Wasn't there a Hellion somewhere? I don't know what happened to the Hellion. Okay, the orbital is... Okay. The orbital is here. The orbital exists. The ba the Marines lost... They had to go reload their ammo, but now they're going to finish off the main. Unfortunately, they did not get the engine engineering bay. Or the Evgeny Bay, as it's known. Uh, don't make it a thing. Before the planetary finished. Evgeny, um, will eventually find motivation to get more minerals, but so far that's ended in disaster. So, no, there's a, you have, you have, we have a factory at home! Oh, are you high? No, but the factory is. It's right there. Oh. You see, this is why. Look before you build a factory. How many times have we been over? He builds a starport. Because he realized. <laughs> Sit down. Mm -hmm. You're in trouble, young man. Yeah, you, you build a tech lab. Okay? You don't get to fly anymore. You're fine. Your, your pilot's license has been revoked. You know, honestly, both these players should probably have their pilot licenses revoked. But here we are. You would think it would be so difficult to decide when to fly a building, but... Jimmy, do we have something for this? Jimmy! Get the memes! This is not helpful to me. What? No, that's... <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Oh, we'll allow it. Here we are. Two engineering bays later with Plagueis uh, almost as far as he could be from his main and Genie here just going sideways he still has an SCV a remnant at least like in memory there is I bet before this game is over Gregory over here will become relevant all right gregory probably has the most important job i'm not sure what that job will be
Genie's got two banshees. With Cloak, a bold choice. They've rebuilt their economies, such as they are. Plagueis has decided he's not going to expand on the grave of his opponent. There's a perfectly unmined base to what would have originally be been considered Genie's third. And, like, great minds think alike, but less great minds also think more aliker, as the saying goes. Um, actually, no, that's not a new... That orbital's been looking for a place to stay for a while. But there was no room at the planetary. There, I hear there's a mineral line out back you can sleep in, though. Building up on the, this SCV has a lot of work to do. But the Banshee count is, is, well, it's not growing. An armory and a fusion core is a very optimistic turn for Plagueis, who is severely lacking an engineering base now, uh, with which to build the most important unit in Terran versus Terran, or just for Terran in general, which is the, uh, not the auto turret, the turret, the missile turret, of course. Great minds think alike, but fools seldom differ is the saying. You know, it's like Abraham Lincoln said, no one ever lies on the internet. Thank you, Twitch chat, as always. Oh my god. You know what, we can't be- Yep, those are banshees! Gregory? Can you repair them? Nope, those are rocks. Unfortunately, the Marines hoping the bullets will ricochet into the Banshees. Um, Plagueis is struggling. Unless he knows how to revive some Marines from the dead. But that's not a story the Terrans would tell you. The Banshees will eventually run out of energy. And they are not sponsored by Red Bull, but it's okay, Red Bull. I'm open for sponsorship. The Banshee's out of energy, but they will kill the Starport before a Raven could come out. Oh, one SCV spotted. Down goes a Banshee, but a pretty great trade. Oh, he decloaks at possibly the worst time. Oh, the Marines almost get him. So instead of building any sort of... Well, he was building a Raven. It looks like this siege tank is boxed in here. Uh, the Banshee's coming back for more, which is a bit of a bold move. Loses one, targets the tank, which is, uh, something you can do. Comes back in, cloaks. The cloak, not super high quality, it will run out. One Marine. I'm, that, I'm not sure if the siege tank is the biggest ground threat in this general zip code, but, like... That, the Banshee micro? Genie might have 2,300 minerals and 2,000 gas. But you know what else he has is one Banshee. So, here we are. Both players with nearly as many actions per minute as your average uh, pocket watch. And the damage was done. Unfortunately for Plagueis, he did kill the Banshee. And now Genie may actually build more units, which could end in disaster, because just three Banshees killed the vast majority, like, like about 15 SCVs were killed in the original massacre. Um, the proxy racks of old, nearly 10, over 10 minutes ago. But then the Banshees came, and 20 more died. So at some point, when does it end? He's already built his allotted one engineering bay this game. Ah, it looks like this SCV has, um, well, the lobbyists at Big Depot, um, formerly known as Home Depot, have really paid off as this SCV has been contracted out. This one is licensed for starports. This one is licensed for depots. Uh, but there you go. 
It's like being licensed as a consultant. Like, what does it mean? You consult. There you go. I'm a, I'm a depot consultant, so please hire me. And well, there you go. He's got ten. Oh no, four banshees. That is th th thirty-three point three repeating more than last time. Oh, the banshees though cloak. Oh wait. So we just saw a beautiful thing. We just saw the widow mine didn't know what to hit. But it still fired, so that means only the splash damage hit all the banshees. Which is a bit of an awkward exchange, but it still does the damage. He dodges up. Unfortunately, it'd be really... Oh. <gasps> He's risking regulatory sanctions with this, but Plagueis invests in a second engineering bay. And will build turrets. He's deemed it necessary. He's willing to risk it. Unfortunately, though, they're still not going to be in time to stop the Banshees. As the Banshees come in for more, another wave. One, two, three. Finally, Plagueis finds the snipe. Greg in the main, unspotted, lurking, waiting. Big Depot, 48 over 149 supply. I mean, like, why not? Why not? It's like, why wouldn't you need, do you not? You might be only commuting eight minutes to work on a perfectly well-paved highway. But I mean, why not buy the off-roading kit for your Hummer? And that's what Big Depot says. Like, you never know. It might have been 10 games since the last time you had 165 supply, but why not be ready? And uh, Plagueis will make sure he has all supply open to him. Both players will, of course, have an armory, starports, and a fusion core, as is required to play Terran uh, in general. And it appears Genie will finally expand on the grave of Plagueis. Where, well, actually, how much of a claim do they have? I feel like the statute of limitations on what is a main base has passed. Plagueis only was in this base for like four minutes. So, I, d does it even really count? Genie, does he even really need to sign over the... Okay. Two Banshees. So he's tried three. He's tried four. But, you know, we haven't tried two Banshees yet. And that is another number. So... No. And they spell disaster for you. The command center? Not canceled. Plagueis with only 800 minerals left in the bank. The banshees fly. Much to the dismay. And the bewilderment of the marines. Those are still easily in detection range. Fortunately, they remain. As uh, Genie is very fond of microing his banshees. That's all I'll say about that. A battle! Oh my! Wow. As the saying goes, great minds think alike, but other minds think in ways that are very similar, but also unalike, but semi, sometimes eventually aliker. As we see ship weapons plating four battle cruisers to three on the way. Uh, but more upgrades coming in for Plagueis. As both sides, you know who really wins when this happens? Whoever builds the starports, whoever builds the Terran building. Nanite Systems is the true enemy. Okay, I can only assume most of these things are built out of nanites. Uh, uh, well, which minerals get converted into nanites, nanites get converted into buildings. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. It's just quantum theory, as you know. Uh, think about it. Not too hard, though, or you'll break it. Unless you are not one of those great minds. That's called quantum entanglement.
Like, winter, no, it's not. It's like, well, I, that's just the Spanish translation. You might be like, no. And to that I say, I didn't know you also spoke Spanish. Wow. Two barracks. I, I don't know what, how many of these barracks were from earlier. There's now a scare. It's surprisingly similar bases on opposite sides. Far off. Genie has successfully claimed the main base, the former main base of Plagueis. The worker counts are nearly dead even. The uh, command center counts are nearly dead even. The army supplies are nearly dead even. The upgrades are nearly dead even. And the unit composition is drawing very close to even. Ugh. A true testament to the strength and uh, uniformity. Oh, he jumps! Okay, this is different. Oh, things have escalated. Can I get a counter jump? The battle cruisers jump into the fray. But wait! But... Wait! But what? Well, wait! How did he get here, Genie? Come on, the wheels are turning! The wheels are turning! Unfortunately, the like, Genie is staring at the ba Okay, he's got his battle cruiser selected. He's, he's gonna. He, he also has jump. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna wait for the entire base to die. Oh, but more battle cruisers! The battle is joined! The fleet, I mean, one of them has way more of a plus one armor. Oh no, it's plus one, plus one versus plus two, plus one. They, does anyone have Yamato? Genie does. But Genie is macroing, so he's a little the busy at the moment. Which means that Plagueis will successfully make his way back across the map. He's gonna repair! Or, or he's going... Okay, he needs to repair... Oh, no! He's losing so many. He does have a, an extra weapons upgrade. Oh, Plague, stop microwing! They're gonna shoot no matter what! That's way more battle cruisers, but upgrades are kind of a huge deal if nobody starts using Yamato Cannon. He's down to four, but... Yamato Cannon is kind of a huge deal, and repair is a big part of this as well. He's microwing! The fleet stands against all odds! Genie is microing once again, which the oh he's targeting everything but the Yamato cannons. Oh no, Plagueis is turning the tide. His fleet holds the line. Upgrade showing their value, and Plagueis will survive and win the engagement. The tur oh. <laughs> oh, he jumps away. Plagueis is not a huge fan. <laughs> oh. oh, God, that was some real plot armor those battle cruisers had. And I'm not talking about whenever Tasteless and Day 9 do, do cosplay. Oh, the battle cruisers. He knows what Yamato Cannon is. He proved it. He still has more. Uh, oh, my God. Wait, where? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That that was a real jump. Okay. Unleash the cannons! There's a real chance he doesn't know they can be used against units. Did he inspire the Yamato cannon from his opponent? No. It's 2-2 against soon to be 2-2. You can't I mean you can't beat three battle cruisers. I mean you can't beat eight battle cruisers with three. He just beat like seven with four. The numbers, the numbers do lie. The numbers lie a whole lot here. Uh, there's a lot of lying in these numbers. So don't rely on the numbers. There's a turret underneath, but the upgrades are even. So in a, in a full on battle cruiser brawl, more battle cruisers do counter less. One turret not gonna change that. Either the entire broadside. But more battle cruisers from stage right, stage north. The large stage. But the SCVs are pulled to repair. Yamato still online. He's intentionally not using it. The repairs. He's holding. Still no Yamato out of Plagueis. 
A target fire on the planetary. Okay, he switches to... There's not that many SCVs left. They're both at 20 SCVs. Targets another... Oh, he figured out Yamato Kid, and it finally came online. There was interference, Captain. We can't use our main important thing for everything because of the interference, but the interference was in our brains and not our ravens. Finally, the planetary is cracked in plague. It's Despite his best efforts, does not seem like he's going to be coming out on top of this battle. There's a, there's a medevac. Just take note for the record. Yamato Cannon, Battle Cruiser, knocked out of the sky. Down to three BCs. Nothing in production but plus three ship weapons for the ships that don't exist. Clagus has 4,000 minerals and 50 gas. Is it time for the Marine switch? Oh yeah, remember he has starport. What about Gregory? Gregory waits patiently for his moment. His moment has yet to come. It totally will though. That's what they keep telling him at command. The turret set alight by the Yamato cannon, which does 10 less damage than it has health. The Vikings could technically outmicro the battle cruisers. I mean, there's a bit of a margin for error. Not much of one. Oh, the Viking micro, he must slip and slide back. The time, oh, beautiful. He's, he's running out of map. He's got a circle around. Gregory is spotted. More Vikings! Plagueis is not of it yet! He's, he's even on upgrades, but the Vikings technically can counter... Gregory? Gregory, now's the time! Now's your time! Oh, no. And wait, it's not over! It's not over! In fact, it may have just begun. As we're going back to three base versus three in one sense of the word and another sense of the word. Um. Nope, that's it. There's no other sense. There's no sense to be had as the Vikings of Plagueis, it's 23. The supply is nearly even. More battle cruisers. There's actually three battle cruisers here. The only reliable way... Genie has expanded to what was once initially described as Plagueis' main, the base formerly known as Plagueis' main. But there are turrets in the planetary, so he's got all the counters to Vikings lined up here. The Vikings land. They will move in. And then they will find the planetary. Nobody has high sec auto tracking. The Vikings will circle around, but there are battle cruisers, remember. The battle cruisers, they do technically have tactical jump, though it seems like the systems engineers on uh, those battle cruisers are not particularly good at their jobs, as both the Yamato cannons and the tactical jump drives have been uh, less than reliable throughout this match. Uh, Plagueis decides that the grizzled war veteran of Starports will be the one that constructs the battle cruisers, of course. I mean, what better Starport is there? You know, for someone with 23 SCVs, Genie has a non, a, an uncomfortable amount of them idle, but still banking money. He's getting plus three ship armor at the moment, but armor not that important against, like, the Vikings hit pretty hard. It's against the battle cruisers, which essentially have the, the confetti cannons of laser shots that I, I've always thought the Brood War battle cruiser was cooler. Made more sense to have, like, one large damage laser that can't be negated nearly as much. When the battle cruisers start plinking away at each other like it's Star Wars and it doesn't matter if you just got hit by 500 lasers that somehow your ship still flies, you know what? I guess it makes more sense then. And it's way cooler. Because look at all those lasers. The SCVs, look. But not for long. 
Gregory still waiting for his moment. It could be a while. He was told that it, it, it may be multiple days. There's still the possibility this game takes multiple days. We are far from mining out this map. They both keep beating each other's economies and units into oblivion. They've been rotating bases. The Vikings intercept. The SCVs are targeted. No Yamato. He jumps. He saves himself. What a save. The battlecruisers, they show what direction they went. The Vikings are hunting. Battlecruisers can't land. Another design flaw. But he gets out. What is happening here? Wondering! Big Game has made it! Big Game is! He's here! And he's ready for battle! Oh! Meanwhile, Vikings in the air! They were fighting the planetary! The battle cruiser! Oh my, the battle cruiser, but. Oh wait, he jumps! The jump drive suffering from some of the same technical issues as Genies. The battle cruiser taking a lot of hits, wandering into the missile turrets on now! Oh, but another one! Vikings! Here they are! The planetary, though, doing a lot of damage. The turrets also doing damage. Vikings not terrible against planetaries because they're technically white of all times to do that. Um, that will allow the STVs potentially to repair, though that is a plus two attack battle cruiser. Does he have enough money to repair? He has plenty of money. Okay, he adds a third STV. He's still dropping HP. He needs a fourth STV! Just in time! What a save! Oh my... This is happening. Eventually, the battle cruiser will run out of ammo. Or something. I don't know. But another battle. He doesn't have any more STVs. Oh, the battle cruiser is fighting the turret. The turret can't repair. Wait, no, but then he stopped fighting the turret. Oh, the Vikings were back at home. It's unclear why. He targets the STVs. Genie. Building a tank. Which is, uh, maybe not the ideal counter in this scenario. Um, but it's all he has. Mules drop for repair. And the bruised and battered squadron of Vikings will join up with the murderous battle. A uh, Thor! Thor! Thor is here! And, uh, this, okay, this is happening. Battlecruisers jump into targeting range. But the SCV is paying the price. The Thor still has its pillow missiles. The battlecruisers with great dispatch easily take down the Thor, which does not have any weapons upgrades, nor the inclination. Um... Thirty-three minutes, and we may like Plague is is, is scratching on eighty-three supply, nearing a hundred. He's closing in on victory. Genie is finally out of money. There's not even any turrets here. Three battle cruisers are about to pop out. That's not enough. There's going to be four in total, though they do have better upgrades. Wait, no, it's not enough. One of the battle cruisers stays behind to save the day. He's got to get out of there. His only chance is, like, let us remind ourselves that technically, the way to win a game of StarCraft is to kill all their buildings. We've been reminded of that several times, this game alone. The counter jump! What? He may not have realized- Um, oh wait, another- Oh, he jumps in the rest of the fleet! An unfortunate, well, actually, oh my god, the armor upgrades are insane. The most confusing GG thrown out. The armor upgrades are so ridiculous against battle cruisers. They shrug off the attacks. GG's for both sides. This, of course, means the game will continue. It's a Midwestern goodbye right now for both these, as now we're going to have to figure out who wins. Either way, they're just saying it was a good game tonight, however it ends.
Oh no, battle cruisers on both flanks. The armor upgrades are ridiculous. But Plagueis will survive the brawl in that beautiful turmoil extra uh, it uh, you don't know where the command centers or the battle cruisers are going next or who's gonna come out on top but at the end of the day after you like and you subscribe and you ring the bell and you thank absolute henny for downing 15 shots of his own name and bringing us or judging this worthy well of bronze League Heroes Gregory Lift